हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर इम्तियाज़ हसन फ्राम जामिया मिल्ला इस्लामिया अ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल फ्लोरेसेंस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड अंडर द पेपर बायोफिजिक्स अंडर द पेपर टेक्निक्स यूज इन मोलिकुलर बायोफिजिक्स पार्ट टू आफ्टर स्टडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट विल अंडरस्टैंड विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड the basic concept of fluorescence because after understanding the basic concept you may be able to understand its application then what are the different parameters used in the fluorescence then what are the different kind of fluores fluorophores that especially used for the detection or understanding of the biological system with respect to protein and dna and application of fluorescence for the protein and application of fluorescence for dna so first we discuss about the basic concept of fluorescence it is the especially the fluorescence resonance energy transfer is a quantum phenomena occurring between two dye molecule the excitation of transfer excitation is transferred from one donor to another acceptor fluorophore through dipole dipole interaction without the emission of a photon when fret occurs the intensity of donor fluorescence lifetime and quantum efficiency decreases and the fluorescence intensity of the acceptor increases the use of fluorescence radiation is of fundamental importance for tackling measurements problem in the life sciences fluorescence method provide high sensitivity and greater versatility while minimally perturbing the cells under the investigation we discuss about the fluorescence instrumentation you can see here is a simple diagram showing the fluorescence instruments that it having a source of light then excitation monochromator where the light is which helps to the excite then it falls to the sample and then the emission monochromator which perceives the emission by emission monochromator and then finally detector which detects the signal and gives the emission and absorption maxima we discuss about the quantum yield when the light is absorbed only a fraction of the emitted of it is emitted via fluorescence the rest of the excited molecules decay via other process the quantum yield is defined as the ratio of total number of quanta emitted to the total number of quanta absorbed the quanta are related to the area under the absorption and emission spectra where it is represented as q equals to amount of quanta emitted by the fluorescence divided by amount of quanta absorbed or tau by tau zero where tau is the lifetime of all molecules in excited state and tau zero is the intrinsic lifetime lifetime of fluorescence state colorary fluorescence intensity is proportional to the product of absorptivity that is the excitation coefficient and quantum yield we discuss about the factors which affect the quantum yield or the quantum yield depends on the basically environment where increased in the, of the quantum yield upon the binding like the which is used for the application of dna staining of the gels fluorophores with good dna binding affinities often have extremely large fluorescence enhancement upon binding of the nucleic acid more than 1000 folds and the negligible fluorescence in the free dye for example in the cyber green stained with the double standard gels which excited with the uv emits the visible and you can see here the change of the quantum yield upon the binding for example fluorescence spectra of free tyrosine and when the tyrosine is bound to the calmodulin it the its fluorescence efficient quantum yield becomes 0.46 and when the tyrosine in calcium free calmodulin its fluorescence intensity further decreases to the 0.34 we show that the how the fluorescence decay and in the time with the fluorescence intensity it falls for having an exponential curve where the absorption of molecules get excited and fluorescent intensity is proportional to the excited molecules which is given mathematically expressed as dn by dt equals to minus kn into t where nt equals to n0 into e to the power minus kt equals to n0 into e to the power minus t by tau 
the decay of excited molecule is the first order process with lifetime t and decay can happen via three pathways fluorescence with associated intrinsic lifetime t naught conversion of triplet state phosphorescence and non radiative energy decay now we discuss about the solvent effect solvent effect solvents are generally affecting the fluorescence emission spectrum there are two kinds of the solvent effect one is the specific and another is the general solvent effect the specific solvent effect is is actually a chemical reaction of the excited state with the solvent for example hydrogen bonding acid base interaction charge transfer these are the very specific phenomena occurs because of the the chemical structure chemical structure of the molecules under investigation and the other is the general solvent effect which is depending on the polarizability of the solvent medium like the increasing dielectric constant shift the fluorescence to the higher wavelength change changing fluorescence can be used to detect solvent interaction also like ans and 2 an alanonephthalic acid fluorescence was changed to high wavelength by replacing cyclohexane with the ethanol because ethanol forms the hydrogen bonds putting a fluorophore from cyclohexane having the low dielectric constant into water which is having the high dielectric constant shift the fluorescence to the higher wavelength we discussed that how the solvent affects the fluorescence emission efficiency and general solvent effect is described by Leeper equation that is Ea minus Ef equals to 2 delta P mu minus mu naught minus mu divided by A cube where delta P equals to P E minus P n and high frequency electron polarizability is given as P n equal to n square minus 1 divided by 2 n square plus 1 and low frequency polarizability molecular dipole orientation is given as p e equals to e minus 1 divided by 2 e plus i naught i try to explain the compatibility and proximity in a freight donor and acceptor you can see there the relationship between absorbance and emission spectra of freight pair it must have some overlapping integral constant that is the j and it should be in close proximity you can see here in a figure that uh, acceptable proximity of freight pair in terms of their foster radii we explain the intrinsic fluorescence of the protein you can see here in the left side the absorption and emission spectra of phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan and uh, the value of its absorption and fluorescence emission are for the tryptophan it having the 280 nanometer excitation wavelength and absorptivity at 5600 however and the fluorescence emission maximum is 348 nanometer and quantum yield is 0.2 however the for the tyrosine tryptophan these values are quite low the biochemical application of fluorescence often utilize the intrinsic fluorescence of the protein some biomolecules are intrinsic fluors that they are fluorescent themselves the amino acid with aromatic group such as phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan are fluorescent hence molecule containing these amino acids having intrinsic fluorescence the purine and pyrimidine bases of some of the coenzyme for example NAD and FAD are also intrinsic fluor. Intrinsic fluorescence is used to study the protein conformation changes and to probe the location of active site of the coenzyme. We discuss about the extrinsic fluorescence. These are the fluorescent molecules that are adapted in biochemical system under study. Extrinsic fluorescence has been used to study the binding of fatty acid to the serum albumin to characterizing binding sites or cofactor and substrate in enzyme molecules to study the interaction of the molecule these are the structure of some well-known extrinsic fluorophores like ans densyl chloride fluorescine amino methyl cumarine ethidium bromide acridine orange ANS densyl chloride fluorescine are used for the protein studies ethidium bromide riboflavin and acridine are used for the nucleic acid characterization
Ethereum bromide has enhanced the fluorescence when it bound to double stranded DNA, but it doesn't bound to the single stranded DNA. Now we discuss about the application of fluorescence for the proteins. So it is used for the analytical detection of presence of protein monitor changes in quantum yield as an indication of changing environment such as the binding unfolding etc effect of fret used for the calculation of distance of fluorescent group from each other if it is placed at a distance of 1 to 10 nanometer in the range and change in fluorescence polarization is used to determine the shape and size of the molecule based on the tumbling dependence of the shape and size it is also used to monitor change in fluorescence parameter to determine a stoichiometry that is the presence of intermediate binding constant, number of binding site, etc. So fluorescence is the widely used technique for the determination of biochemical structure of DNA protein ligand. So I will discuss one by one in detail like for the microscopy that is used for the detection of protein, RNA, DNA, lipids, calcium and other metal atoms however in the flow cytometry it is used to for the labeling of the antibodies lipids nucleotides oligo dna and oligo rna peptides and lectins and based on these fluorescent labeling so many processes can be understand the mechanism of several biological processes are understand by using the flow cytometry then the fluorescence with method are also used for the spectrofluorometric assay based on the nucleus i mean the labeling of the nucleus labeling of the golgi labeling of the lysosome endoplasmic reticulum mitochondrion cycle cytoskeleton and membrane and it is also used for the molecular biology studies by labeling different types of enzyme involved in the process such as glycosidase phosphatase protease peroxidase lipase and membrane potential so these are the large number of application in the different sector of the biological sciences i try to show that the freight in protein conformational changes you can see here that uh, if the donor and acceptor pairs are far apart there is no fluorescence occur but when these both donor and acceptor comes together then very good fluorescence threat can be observed as well as it used to determine the dist separation distance between the donor and acceptor pair similarly in the other panel you can say threat in calmodulin and calcium ion indicator when it is in the linear form these two probes low cf P and YFP, cyan fluorescent protein and yellow fluorescent protein are the donor and acceptor are apart. But once a proper folding occurs in the calmodulin, they come closer, then you a freight is observed. It is also used for the conformation changes in enzyme. You can see here that the how as the donor and acceptor pair comes closer, freight is observed, and it is shown here in the diagrammatically in the form of enzyme that once two donor and acceptor once the donor acceptor pair comes closer a close a very good threat is observed i try to show that the effect of tryptophan environment on the emission spectra you can see here in the left side that as the tryptophan is in buried inside the protein core then it having a very a fluorescence maxima around the 350 nanometer but as it exposes towards the polar side i mean the water then a dramatic shift in the fluorescence maxima is observed from the higher wavelength towards the lower side it is known as blue shift also and you can see that the events the tryptophan is exposed towards the water polar environment it's a, a remarkable blue shift is observed it is also used to locate the to see the conformation changes in protein especially native state and denatured state you can see here the native state the spectra of the native state but when these are denatured by the six molar guanidinium hydrochloride you can see a red shift occurs in the protein so it clearly indicates that the, now the protein converted from the native state to the denatured state i try to show that the how tight side direct mutagenesis of a single tryptophan in azurine can be detected by the fluorescence you can see here the tryptophan 48 having two neighboring residue for phenyl in 110 and phenyl 17 once in the graph you can see wild type is shown is emission spectra of wild type shown in blue but when the isoleucine is replaced by serine 
a dramatic decrease in the fluorescence intensity was observed and when phenylalanine is replaced by serine a red shift is observed so the as the environment of tryptophan changes the spectral properties of the protein changes i try to show that the quenching of tryptophan residue in the protein you can see that the tryptophan 1 and tryptophan 2 one is the buried and one is the exposed so they both having the different spectra it is taken by the side direct mutagenesis and as the also the surface tryptophan showing very high quenching as compared to the buried tryptophan this is the lower panel you can see that the azurine it is the quenching by the acrylamide of the azurine ribonuclease a s nuclease a acth all having the different types of features because they have the different content of tryptophan in the buried and the surface tryptophan we try to show that the mutation of different tryptophan you can see having the different spectral properties because it clearly indicates the position of tryptophan in a protein whether, whether it is located on the surface or located on the buried inside you can see here in the right panel that the spectra of wild type tryptophan and as the different mutation like the w11 is replaced by phenylene a decrease in fluorescence intensity with a significant blue shift was observed when w11 was replaced by phenylene then a more decreasing fluorescent intensity as well as the remarkable blue shift was observed we try to show that how the fluorescence spectroscopy is used to monitor the protein folding changes you can see here in the middle that ribonuclease having the totally different spectra in the native and denatured state it is also used for the time dependent kinetics of the folding and refolding of the different proteins as you are aware that the fluorescence spectroscopy is widely used to study the protein here we discuss about the how fluorescence approaches are used for the different types of studies implicated for the membrane studies or the structural kinetics dynamics of the membrane proteins so it is used for the membrane protein secondary structure estimation and followed by by that you can see the protein folding and assembly then membrane conformational changes whatever the conformational changes occurs because of the binding of any substrate ligand and anything that causes a conformational changes in the membrane protein that can be detected by the fluorescence spectroscopy in the form of conformational dynamics we can also detect the protein exposure or embedding in the membrane protein like the red edge excitation shift or a spatial distance between the residue can be simply be determined by using the fluorescence spectroscopy the membrane topography can also be estimated by the fluorescence spectroscopy in the form of cis and translocation of relative to the membrane surface and the spanning across or lying the membrane surface then we call also determine the localization depth in the membrane such as dead dependent quenching or by the parall parallax method or the distribution analysis so these are the various application of the fluorescence spectroscopy applied for the membrane protein by mem by fluorescence spectroscopy we can also detect the binding to the membrane like the we can analyze the membrane binding mechanism binding of the other molecule to the membrane and how it leads to the conformation changes then we can also detect the pore formation in the membrane and the protein oligomerization quaternary structure to the membrane bound complexes so fluorescence protein are also used for a large number of biological studies because now it, since it is the biologically available so there is less hazard and having very high quantum yield so fluorescent proteins have a lot of application for example it is used for the protein labeling by that labeling the protein you can estimate co-localization inside the cell motility of the cells turnover number of the enzyme age of the cell it is also used for the labeling of the nucleic acids for that you can measure the 
एम आर एन ए कंटेंट एम आर एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ए सेल देन जीनोम लोकाई फ्रॉम विच जीन विच पार्ट ऑफ द लोकाई कोडिंग पर्टिकुलर जीन देन ऑर्गेनिक लेबलिंग बाय फ्लोरसेंस प्रोटीन गिव यू इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर प्रोटीन फ्यूजन टर्न ओवर हाउ एवर द लेबलिंग ऑफ द सेल गिव यू अबाउट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द मार्फोलॉजी मोमेंट ट्रैकिंग माइटोटिक क्लॉक सेल डिविजन्स and not only this it is also used for the labeling of the organism for the whole body imaging for the transgenic detection for the entertainer and industry moreover this fluorescent proteins are used for to study the protein protein interaction like the dynamic measurement you can estimate all the binding kinetics of the protein and accumulative measurements it is widely used for the sensor like based on that you can see the protein activities in alites membrane potential etc and a large number of sensor are nowadays based on the fluorescent proteins it also used for the production see the reactive oxide, oxygen species production especially used for the cell killing protein inactivation and ros signaling fluorescent technology is also used for the fluorescent protein fluorescent protein are used for the drug screening as well like the protein turnover sensor promoter activation and finally it is also used to see the promoter activities like the history coactivation and on off mechanism of the protein on and off mechanism of the promoter so it's a extensively used material for the study of the different types of phenomena that we have discussed we try to show that how the biomolecular interactions are detected by the fret you can see here the interaction of cfp with the yfp once it come close it forming the it giving a fret that's in terms of the intermolecular fret as well as it also gives the intramolecular fret when and it is used for the mostly fret based sensor after discussing application of fluorescence technology for the protein now we discuss about the application of fluorescence methods for the dna it is widely used for the staining of oligonucleotide in the gels like agarose gel you can see quantify the amount of dna it is used to monitoring the unwinding of double helical dna that at the what degree the unwinding occurs and not only this it is also used to monitor the melting of the dna with respect to temperature or the salt conditions for the dna fluorescence methods are used for the genome mapping of the gene and the gene function determination it is used for the biodiversity studies like the evolution studies moreover it is mostly used for the diagnosis especially for the parental testing of genetic diseases early detection of cancer viral infection mutation detection not only this it is also fluorescence methods are used for the detection of drug resistance genes and forensic science dna fingerprinting is totally based on the fluorescence methods and at last the expression of messenger rna is used by the microarray method is totally based on the fluorescence methods and use of the fluorescent dye for it is used for the fluorescence method used to see the nucleic acid isolation that the how much amount of nucleic acid has been isolated it is used for the cloning methods then nucleic acid electrophoresis you can detect the amount of dna and the band of dna which help you to identify its molecular weight as well and not only this it is also for the reverse transcription and all the pcr methods especially the real time pcr methods it totally based on the fluorescence methods we try to show that the molecular biology application of the fret like the gel electrophoresis real time pcr you can see here the bands of dna rna are only observed if it is bind to the fluorophores and cell viability cell cytotoxicity assay enzyme assay calcium measurement all these are the major application of the fluorescence apart from that the other techniques which are the based on fluorescence are fish cgh pcr real time pcr dna sequencing and microarray we try to explain you the fish for the detection of single to multiple genetic event 
the fish is used for the identification of marker chromosome analysis of low frequency mosaic diagnosis of some microscopic chromosomal rearrangements macridial detection amplification of oncogenes and microlidian tumor suppressor genes in malignancies single target one color dual target two color multiple colors allows one to look on the multiple genomic changes within a cell without destruction of cellular morphology the fish process simply is to denature the chromosome denature the probe, probe hybridization fluorescence staining and examination or store the in the dark and the fluorophore bind covalently to the dna molecule which is used as a probe for the fish fluorescence imaging of chromosomal dna the study of human chromosome provides valuable insight into the process of clinical diagnosis of many genetic disorders and analysis of chromosome architecture a schematic of click reaction for staining chromosomal dna and the individual chromosome level edu was introduced into the chromosomal dna as the labeling to tag the click reaction alexa 88 azide green or alexa 594 azide red reacted with edu to stain the individual chromosome and chromosome were stained with the alexa 488 azide green or alexa 488 azide red the inset panel is higher magnification observed by the fluorescence microscopy we can also study the dna synthesis mechanism by fluorescence spectroscopy a conformational change important for the fidelity is the motion of polymerase finger subdomain from an open to close conformation upon binding of complementary nucleotide an intra protein freight assay for real time monitoring of finger dynamics a represents the finger crossing conformational changes as inferred from the crystal structure and b represents base pair primer template oligonucleotide used in this study and c represents after photo bleaching the red fluorescent four attached to dna transient binding of kf molecule to dna is monitored and the conformation energy with kf are characterized using internal freight pair and d represents fluorescence emission as a function time of the localization of dna molecules e represents kf dna complex with dual time reveals by modal dissociation kinetics and f expands binding event in d with fluorescence stress and the upper panel and the corresponding proximity freight proximity ratio so students let now summarize what we have learned in this module freight is a non radiative energy transfer given by dipole dipole coupling a recent explosion in new fluorescence application is accelerating the pace of research and development in basic and applied life sciences fluorescence is extensively used in genomics proteomics bioengineering medical sciences especially for the medical diagnosis and industrial microbiology dna probe probes that use fred detects many types of reaction involving dna rna protein and inorganic substances use of fluorescence in applications such as real time pcr has allowed researcher to expand the techniques and maximize its potential these are the some applications like it is used for the protein oligomerization then for the dna hybridization technique then for the protein dna protein 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 ligand interactions then protein dna interaction are measured by the fluorescence then ligand receptor binding and enzyme reaction kinetics so these are the wide application of fluorescence spectroscopy it is widely used for the biological markers study detection of proteins probing dna rna structure separation analysis tissue engineering drug and gene delivery and detecting small changes in the chromosome and there are several technique which is based on the 
other technique which are based on the fluorescence method are fluorescent fish that's fluorescent in situ hybridization facts fluorescent activated cell sorter and microscopy for especially fluorescence microscopy and the sensing application so let's conclude thank you very much